Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome back to part six of the Rosebud Challenge. At the end of the last part, we built a small starter home and now they're ready to use it. We only put a handful of furnishings in here and I tried to put some better quality items in apart from the counters. So they both look like they're tired, so I'm going to let them go to sleep. Jeremy in particular is very tired. We'll start them off with that. One thing I didn't mention in the commentary was that I had picked up this little uh, stereo and I bought that specifically because it can give them a little bit of fun and it is also particularly useful when you're gardening because if you have them listen to the stereo before they start to garden then they gain some fun while they're gardening. Otherwise, gardening will drag their fun down. And when you're in a starter house position like this, where you don't have a lot of fun things for them to do, it's good to not let their fun get too low. Luckily for our two Sims, they are both creative. So the painting itself is fun for them. So that doesn't drag their fun down, which it would do for non-creative Sims. So with non-creative Sims, you could also use a stereo have them listen to it while they're painting and then again their fun won't go down and since they don't have I don't have a TV I have on some money left I could buy them a cheap TV and a sofa but I figure we may as well let them earn a bit more money before we we go that way and maybe we can get them a slightly better TV I'm just gonna check and see if we can breed the frogs if I can find the right ones there they are there's the whirly flowers and I need to get rid of some of these frogs from their inventory. And I had mentioned that I like that treasure chest or whatever it's called. So I need to pick up one of those and start emptying out the things we want to keep, sell the things we don't want to keep. And then their inventory won't be quite so full as it is at the moment. I'm looking for her whirly flower frogs. And unfortunately, I don't remember how many she is. She has five. So she will have six when we're done here. There we go. So I think since Eden was less tired, she will should wake up first. So we're going to have her have a thoughtful shower and we may as well have her go to the washroom. In previous iterations of Sims, I always would have them go to the washroom and then have their shower. But while it's not an issue yet in this house, because we only have one sink, I find oftentimes that they don't use the sink closest to where the toilet is. And so if you send them to the washroom, they might go halfway across the house and use another sink and then they'll go all the way back to use their shower. So I just have them shower first, but I never used to do that. It's only something I started doing in Sims 4. So, um, so that's about it. And then when she's finished doing those things, I think I'm going to switch her to the food aspiration. I had her on painting thought we would work on that because she needs to, to do that to get some few points if she cooks two meals while inspired which is easy enough to do and if they happen to be excellent even better then she will get some points so we'll just be working on it and do the first one I don't want to give her too much to do because sometimes I find them can they cancel out the transactions Transactions, probably not the right word to say but you probably know what I mean they they the queue they'll trans They'll, they'll cancel the actions in the queue if you, with certain things, I've been noticing that lately, particularly with eating, they do that a lot. And she's bored, so in her case, it was particularly good for me to buy a stereo because she can go dance before, and I think maybe we'll, uh, before we have her cook, we're gonna turn that on just while she's there, and then she can go dance. And then we will have her cook. And since we don't have a stove yet, we will have her make a family-sized tomato sandwich. And I know, I realize I have the Rally the Troops, and we will use that from time to time, but I don't want to overuse it. I know I used it quite a lot there in when we were doing the push to get the money in the end so that we could get them home. But uh, I just figured you know, they have a home now. It's not well furnished, as you can see. And it's possibly a bit bigger than I needed. I thought, realized afterwards, I probably could have missed, skipped this bedroom and this bathroom, and then they could have just used this one. But given that Jeremy wants to have a child, 
I think they're going to start on their family pretty soon. We may as well have a house that's big enough for them to put children in it. And I like the children to do the children aspirations, which means they're going to need various items to be able to attain those aspirations. So we may as well create the space now. It wasn't, it's not like the house itself is that expensive. Make that little bit extra. And they did have, I don't remember, but they had 17, 18, 19,000 simoleons. So they had enough money to get you know, basic floor plan down. So you know, while she's cooking, you know, she didn't go dance. Hmm. Oh, well, hopefully the inspired moodlet stays for the whole time she's cooking because you need it the whole time you're cooking, unlike with painting where you just needed it at the beginning. Now, I am just taking a quick look for the chest is under miscellaneous in storage and I will get the ornate beauty for now we'll just stick it outside the kitchen right there and off we go with that and since we have our home I am going to place out I'm actually going to place the frogs out for now this is where I want to put I think I'm going to go back into build mode and move the easels over a little bit. They're over here. And then I will place the frogs here. Now I have, I there is a chart on Carl Sims 4 with the collections for the frogs and they have an order of putting them out. And if you, if you put them out in that order, it makes it easier to breed the relevant frogs together to get the missing frogs. So I'm going to try and do that. I think leaf is at the top and then dirt. I, I will have to look it up because I don't remember exactly. But I think it's eggplant and then it's heart. And then I can't remember whether it's striped or spotted first. Because I don't have it up in front of me. I'm going from memory. I do do frogs quite a lot because they are one of the easier collections to complete. Unless it's Easter and you're doing, you can do the Easter egg collection. That is simple to do. And the fish, we may as well for now put them up on the wall in the entrance. We will eventually put them in the little museum room. It'll actually let me place it. It doesn't seem to be letting me. Glitching. Let's see if I hit escape, if that will. Want to name it? I want to place it on the wall. There, finally. Now it doesn't tell you. I can't remember the types, but for now I'll just stick them on the wall. I just want to get to get them out of their inventory, so their inventory is less full. At a. Just guessing whether they're rare or com common, uncommon, or rare. The frogs are not there yet. I'm going to pause the game. That worked for me. It did. Easier to put things on the wall when the walls are up. And that's been my finding. And then the goldfish. Petra. Here. Bass. Out. I will probably organize these off screen. So that it doesn't take me too long. That's what we have. So we have eight, 14. Let's see if that matches what we have in the household collection tab as the number of fish that we've caught. So we have 14 plus four. So that means we should have 18. Perhaps if you are in his inventory. Because I don't see any duplicates. 
from what I'm looking here, they look like balls. That's who we've sold. Okay, now I'll look through that after. Just not to take too much time. You just do want to get their inventory cleared out. That was a sunflower vibe cross. That's the sunflower, and I'm putting one of the lily flowers on this little grid pattern. And then here's the tiger frog. Those are really gonna. I'll double check these later and put them in the order. I don't remember some of them where they belong. Bullseye. We may as well sell the rabbit money and we want things out of our inventory by Sunday so that we our bills won't be quite so high. So we want the sunflower out so we'll sell that. I keep trying to scroll through here and it keeps scrolling on the on the lot. There's the dirt. Dirt. May as well be consistent with what I'm putting even if it's not the right location that's striped dirt i will keep that sorry i can't remember how much that was i think it might have been 30. there's the heart we don't have the heart out here there's the heart out heart frog out and i will keep that because it's 10 simoleons so that's a good one to um fish with particularly when we try and catch the I believe it's, yeah, it's either the, it's the wolf eel. You need a, a frog to catch the wolf eel. This is heart, the spotted heart we'll put there. Like dirt, I'm pretty sure we already have that sorted out. And it is worth 30, so I will sell it because I, I'll keep 10 simoleon frogs for fishing with, for bait. We'll sell the others. These are the whirly flowers. We'll make sure we sell them by Sunday evening. Now we're going to open up the empty chest and place the, we're going to put the metals and whatnot in there. For now, I'm going to keep them all because once you complete the curator aspiration, everything is worth more. We'll keep them. Plus, we need to send. I like to send the duplicate because we're trying to keep a copy of everything. I prefer to send duplicates in for the part of the aspiration where you need to send things to the Geo Council. That's what it looks like. Other than fish and harvestables, the fossils we'll keep because he needs to open them, and the treasure map we'll use. We're looking, and those frogs are the whirly flowers. So we're back with Eden. And we will open up the chest and we will place the, um, the metals, fossils, open fossils, and crystals into the chest so that we don't carry them around with us. I'm going to leave the harvestables in their inventory because we're going to plant some of them, and then what we don't plant, we will then sell. We won't keep them. They won't go in the treasure chest. And we'll keep the broken fossil. It's not worth very much. But it is a good thing if you need them to be focused. If they study the fossil, even if it's broken, it'll give them a focused moodlet. There's various ways to get focused moodlets in here. So now we're back to the frog. Frog. She has the spotted dirt. I'll take that. It's 30 simoleons, so we will sell the rest of those. Go. The whirly flower, we'll just keep those for now, and we already have one out, so we don't need to place another one out. This is a spotted heart, which we already have there, and it's 30 simoleons, so we will sell them. And the leopard frog, we need, pretty sure we don't have the leopard frog out. I can't remember. I think the tiger, tigers have stripes, leopards have spots. I think I would know that off by heart. 
but I always get them mixed up. But like striped dirt in there, so we will drop it too. This is a sunflower, which I know we have out already, so we will just take it. I don't think we have any leaf frogs. And the hearts are worth 10, so we will keep those too. Keep those also in our inventory for fishing with, since they're uh, not very valuable. So they're a good source for bait. I will have to look through their fish and check to see what I haven't mounted to put on the wall. So yeah, I'll do that at the end of the recording so that you don't need to watch that because it's probably a bit dull. So anyways, we're back to, we can hit play for now. We'll leave the rest of the things in there, but we've at least gotten some items out of their inventory. So it's not quite so full. And I will put the walls back into cutaway mode. And she started painting on her own. And so she, we should put this back to the painter extraordinaire in case it's an excellent painting. We would like it to count. And was that excellent? And her garden salad was excellent. So we're going to open the, invent the fridge and put it in there. And we were going to have him have a thoughtful shower. And then we will have him go to the bathroom. And then he can grab a bowl of garden salad. I'm only doing the four serving salad foods right now because they need to get their skills up for cooking anyways. Like I said, I won't buy them a stove until they get to three. And sometimes I don't even let them get it till they get to level five. Now the skills, oh, see, I still have 24 hours of skilling on up. The skill week is over. But I guess because we still had a little bit of time left, they still can skill up. Now, I can't remember if I started the gathering. I did not when we got home. So I will start it now. These will help. Or has she already maxed her? I, she doesn't, doesn't have a skill bar. She doesn't. She has not maxed her painting skill. Oh, that's him. Maybe she's maxed her painting skill. She has maxed her painting. We're gonna, so of course, the only disadvantage of having the frogs out is they sit there and they look at them. And it's a bit annoying. So she has an excellent small painting for a thousand simoleons. So we will have her sell that. And we will have her do a abstract large. She still hasn't danced. And then we will have her go dance after. And. I mean, look, he's already all set. I think I'm going to have him start on his gardening because we would like to get those, get the things planted. So much as gardening isn't very lucrative to start with, it is very lucrative in the long run. And I just like to have one of, of everything and I have more than one of the things that are more lucrative they were planting that was a grow fruit and an apple and we'll just turn the volume down on the music so well that was all ready <laughs> we're going to plant one carrot because they don't make a lot of money but we will plant both of these Mouse is being finicky, so we're going to plant both of his dragon fruit. We will plant one chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, one sage, which will be over by the carrot. And I'm going to plant both of these cowberry plants because they make, they, if you sell them after they are grown and if you catch it before they die, they are worth 475 simoleons. So we may as well do that, and it helps build their gardening skill. Plant one daisy. So we have a chrysanthemum, sage, daisy, carrots, grow fruit. He had one apple, so that's been planted. Now I'm gonna going to sell the chrysanthemums because they're worth five each. The daisies. They make useful fertilizer. They're not worth very much. 
So he's dance. She's now doing her dancing. So her boredom is gone. That's worth 2,521 simoleons. So we will have her go sell that. We may as well have her paint on this. We'll switch it up. We'll do a realism painting. Cancel her painting. Sorry, cancel, her, cancel her dancing because she no longer has the board moodlet. So he's planting and then we will have him water. So I have two, four, six, eight things there for him to plant. There are things, I guess 10 if you count the cow plants. So, she, so that'll be 10 things for him to water also. Except for he didn't plant everything. So let's try that again and see if he'll plant everything. We'll do that before usually you can tell them to plant and here i didn't actually have them listen to the music so we will have him listen to there and hope that he'll plant everything and then listen to the music at which point oh i will tell him to water the plants I'm going to see what's in her inventory for plants she has snapdragons and she has carrots. We're not going to plant those. She has, I'm going to plant the dragon fruit and a lily and an onion and a potato. And I don't want to lay them out because I don't want him to plant them. I want her to plant them. That she can also work on that. So she can also work on the gardening aspiration. She actually wants to do a confident painting. If she's still confident when she finishes that, we will let her get that and do a confident painting. Now, I like this particular location because it's a decent size. It's a 50 by 50 lot. And then there's this playground equipment for when you have sim kids, which will help with the uh, aspiration for playing on a jungle gym while playful. This counts. And uh, But the thing I don't like is that there is no... Oh, of course, he's playful from the cow plants being planted there. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, the one thing I don't like is that there's no fishing right here. You got to go all the way. My mouse is not work very well all the way over here, which is quite far for Sims. It takes them a while to get there. So I usually go into the buy debug mode and place a pond on this property so that they have paint some fishing close to home. I don't get the rare one that seems sort of cheaty, but I just get one of the ones that will kind of match. Not a desert one. He's completed that and we will switch him over to the creative painter extraordinaire aspiration. I'm going to actually try and move the in hopes that they won't make it playful for them. I don't really want them to be playful. I want them to be inspired when they're painting. We will put them over there. Hope that gets rid of the playfulness. That would be nice. Maybe we hit play. Yeah. I'm going to have him do... He can do an abstract because he was level 9. And level 8 is when abstracts... Oh no, he's he's not... I am going to have him cloud gaze to get inspired, and then I will have him do the abstract painting. So she's done a masterpiece, 6,000 simoleons and a bit. So we're going to sell that to the art gallery. As soon as we complete the frog collection, we will put them into the, the crate, the chest for now, because I don't want them out, because they keep just going and looking at them. It does give them fun, strangely, but uh, so he has become inspired, so we don't need him to finish that. 
and he wants to analyze a book. I don't think I will let him do that, but that does remind me I should have bought a bookcase when I did this. So I am going to buy a... I'm going to buy a kid's bookcase because it is cheap, and it'll also help count towards spending a thousand simoleons on kids' items when we start working on the family aspiration, which we'll do soon since we're going to have probably have them try for a baby this evening. Since Jeremy wants to have a baby. So it'll be good if I can get her to do some of these things. I'm going to get rid of that fish for an hour. I find that's a bit glitchy. It doesn't always work. So she wants to get married to Jeremy and he's she's already married. It's a little annoying that it keeps coming up. She wants to kiss Jeremy. Well, we can try for that one. She wants to collect a new crystal. We'll see. Don't look like they're crystals. But we'll let her just collect. Dig for treasure and dig. She only had one map, which will help with one. And there's my timer. So I think that's actually going to be it for this week. And uh, not this week, <laughs> this episode. And we will uh, continue on next time. And like I said, I will uh, take a look and check the fish collection and mount any other fish if we happen to have some that haven't been mounted yet and stick it up on the wall just so that that can hopefully match the number that we've caught. And apart from that, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.